I do notice pollution in the air in the city. It's just there wherever you go. Only yesterday, in fact, a taxi was going by and from its exhaust was this balloon full of black smoke that was so thick, people put their hands over their face, duck their heads into their coats. Where I live, it isn't too bad, but I think it's quite difficult to reduce my exposure to pollution. Pollution's obviously there because cars give off uh, lots of fumes, so it's clearly there, but I don't know what level is dangerous or how much there is there. The health effects of air pollution are many. Simply they can be thought of as those which you experience very rapidly if there's a deterioration in air quality or the cumulative effects which happen over many years. We have throughout the United Kingdom a system for measuring the level of pollution and the figures can then be used to inform whether or not we're entering into periods where people may need to consider changing their activities in some way. The air quality index is associated with the very short term effects, so that would be when people start to find that they're breathing heavier, they've got some tightness in their chest, or they require increased medication if they have a condition such as asthma. The way the index is constructed is the fact that of all the five different pollutants that are measured, the highest one on any given day will trigger the level of information that's provided to the the Air Quality Index is available on the internet and at certain times it will be included in weather forecasts. But with the advent of smartphones, people of course can get the Air Quality Index in the palm of their hand as they're travelling around the city in their everyday lives. So this provides a, a great opportunity for people to check the index before they consider doing something like exercise on a polluted sunny afternoon. I use the website and the app on the iPhone to see the level of pollution on my route on a fairly uh, easy scale, it's 1 to 10. Normally it's 1 or 2 and, and that's not a problem for me, but if the scale rises to 3 or 4 or maybe more, then maybe I'll think twice about going that day. Reading the index is very easy. It's divided in bands, low, moderate, high and very high. And what people should do is see whether they are in a vulnerable subgroup, for instance children and adults with heart and lung problems, and then they can follow the advice given for those, or they can look at the general advice given for the rest of the population. If that advice says that they should avoid vigorous exercise outside, then that I think would be a cautious way of interpreting it. We hope that this index will make people more aware of air pollution as it affects them in their everyday life. Air pollution is largely invisible to us, but the index actually tells you how much air pollution is out there or how much air pollution is expected so that people can take actions to protect themselves.